another Ken Jones exclusive. Ken Jones here outside the workshop of Master Tech Number One, who's working on the controversial X2 box for this week's competition with the Mass Maestro. Let's see if we can't get a word with him. Techie, I'm, 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 can we interview you? Going down here, Jones. You have level five clearance to be down here. I believe I do. Ken Jones have level five clearance? No, Junior. All right, let me set something straight for you. Number one, you don't call me Techie. You call me TK1. Only one man calls me the Techie, and you ain't I'm here. sorry about that, TK1. Well, how's the box coming along? We'll be ready for this week's competition. Are you having any problems? You haven't got the gray matter to understand the first thing about this box. Let me tell you a little something about the, the X2. The X2 is something we don't even need. Hey, get that camera out of here. The X2 is something we don't need. Well, you know, the techie didn't have to behave that way. I mean, Ken Jones had, had level 5 clearance to be down there. Well, I think that the camera ought to come out of your pay. How do you like that? What? Hey, man, what the heck is Ken Jones even doing down there, especially jumping him by surprise? You know, that's that's where they need privacy. Top secret security clearance. That's, that's where they designed the X1 and the X2 box. And soon to be X3, I'll bet. Well, that's why Ken Jones was down there. To get an expose, to get an exclusive. Hey, man, what That's the? What he does. You like that, huh? You I... like uh, having people's privacy just just d evaporate. People want to know. That's all I can say. Well, people but are people gonna right be to in know. the dark, as far as I'm concerned. All right. Well, speaking in the dark, you certainly didn't see this one coming. Streetwise, they came out of nowhere last <laughs> week, swept the regional last week, and hey. took the top. Top honors. Yeah, I think they'll be right back to nowhere sometime soon. Hey, these are some hard-working kids. Pulled themselves out of South Central. Yeah, you know? South Central, Oregon. And I gotta say that that uh, I don't think they quite. Well, you'll you'll see. Let's see it. You will see. This is quite a quite a performance. Oh yeah. The young kids love it. Here we go. Oh, oh this is totally bogus, dude. If, if BMX3 didn't get their van towed away last night with all their equipment in it, well, BMX did get their van confiscated. <laughs> And we're going with Street Z. Oh, more like Street Z's. That's all I gotta say, Bud Merrill. The fans really seem to love him. I see Hot here. And we've never seen this man before. Pete Handel. Oh, they're heck of bad, Grandpa. Dicky Valve. I wouldn't let, uh, have my record collection anywhere around these guys with that dynamic guy over there. Dry ice. Indeed. Uh, hard on the records, I gotta admit. I don't see any big air here. This ain't awesome. Yeah, they seem to be using the B-flat pedal. Streetwise uh, scoring effectively with the audience, I gotta say. They don't even have a ramp, bud. I mean, uh, they're just right in it with the with the band, as you can see. Hey, look at those fans! What do they know? Now he's doing time. Old McDonald sold his farm. Now it's all mine. <laughs> These guys won't be around when Super Gig's gonna go down. Well, early to talk about Super Gig, I've gotta say, Kid uh, Extreme. BMX3 would have been. Coming soon, Pro Music World's 12th Annual Iron Band. Torture tour a -thon. A fortnight of fortitude. Possible surprise appearances by CMA stars. Two grueling weeks of guts, glory, and guitar. 26 cities and 14 days. A never-ending night marathon of musical survival. 13 bands pushed to the breaking point and beyond. Only the last band standing earns the right to be called. Lineup determined by mandatory lottery of rookie pool. One day prior to torture tour -a Surprise appearances by CMA stars subject to availability and contractual obligations. Now, more pro music this week.